Okay, starting to use your lower body better in transition. Uh, this, I love this drill. I call this one the half swing ripper. Uh, inspired by a, a guy that I teach in Oklahoma, a great guy. Uh, he had a tendency as he started to come down that his lower body would sort of fall backwards onto his back foot. So in effort to start to get that lower body to start to move, we started to do in half swings where he had to really start to generate as much power as he can. So that's the the idea behind it. So can I go short back and produce a lot of energy? I I won't be able to do that if I just use my arms. You know, does that make sense? So if I just do that, I'm not gonna be able to hit it very far. So can you make a short swing using the ground, using your feet and produce a, a nice solid hit with a lot of speed? So that's, I'm trying to feel like it's a half swing. It obviously always goes more than you think. That was 86 miles an hour trying to go almost as short as I can using my dynamics, using my legs, using my body to produce as much speed as I can. So short back, use the legs. You're going to have to produce a lot of force into the, into the club to get that speed up with a very short swing. So that's me really ripping it. It's, an, it's the opposite of a long, slow swing. We're trying to produce a lot of energy, a big burst of power in that short swing using the legs, using a little right to left movement, using my the force I'm putting into the club that was 88 miles an hour. Trying to go as short as I can, producing a big burst of energy. Give that a try. Don't hurt yourself, go slow at the start and then sort of work into that. So sort of slow swings, gradually increase that energy as you go through it.